Welcome to Brew and Review with Mike and Jake from Orange Cactus Coffee. Join them as they put coffees and brew methods to the test. Oh yeah, thank you so much for joining us for Brew and Review 15. Today we are brewing and reviewing a flight of Angel's Cup coffee. Of course, Angel's Cup, some of you may remember, was recommended by Mike about a year and a half ago. They send you blind taste tests. So that's what we've got. Two different roasters, four coffees, and, well, we don't do so well. All right, well, let's hear it. Re, re, review, coffee, review. 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 Hi, welcome to Brewing Review. I am Jake Goebel. With me, as always, is the incredible Mike Kincaid. And today, we are brewing and reviewing four coffees from Angel's Cup. You would think that we would learn our lesson and that we would try and make our lives easier with the brewing and reviewing and the setup and everything. But no, we just keep trying to get more complex, more difficult, more challenging. All that to say, we've got to start. We have brewed three coffees already, so that way you don't just sit here and watch us brewing. And we brewed using the Hario V60, which we will show you if you are watching our YouTube channel or on IGTV. What up? But if you are listening, then, you know, we're going to do our best to describe what it is that you are not seeing while you're on your drive to work because we love you. But the Hario V60 is what we used to brew all these coffees. Reason being, Angel's Cup allows you to pick light roast, medium roast, and different kind of coffees. You know what I mean? What kind of, what flavor profile do you mm. want? Mm-hmm. So if we were going to translate that into orange cactus coffee speak, that would be like, these are all king cups or chain fruits. We don't know. We don't know what they are because they're blind tasting, but none of these would be found in the saguaro family of coffees with a little more base, a little more chocolatey tones. Yeah. It's all. It's all fruity. It's on the light yeah, spectrum. Yeah, it's all on the light yeah. spectrum. Yeah. yeah, that's it. I got a, a chance. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome. I got a chance to put my sniffer in each of the uh, the yeah. grounds. And yeah, it's an impressive <laughs> sniffer. It is. <laughs> yeah, double barrel. It works. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, I have a prediction based on the smell. I think I smelled a Kenyan and Ethiopian. One was a little more earthy, mm-hmm. I, I wanted to say. But it m- reminded me not of a uh, Sumatran but of like a Burundi, a, a Burundi yeah. or even a Congo for some reason. Yeah. So I'm going yeah. with that. I'm with you there. I and think then, one of them is going to be Ethiopia. One of them is going to be Kenya. Mm-hmm. I don't know about the other two. One of them, I, it was a smell I've never yeah. encountered. It yeah. was completely different and I couldn't even guess at it. So, so we're going to do it. Let's though. give it a go. We're going to do it. All right. 5407. And some of you who do the angels cup flight tasting or whatever, you can yeah. get that. You get that here. So, yeah, you get uh, four samples, what, 20, how many grams each? I can't remember. 50, I think. Is it 50? No, maybe not 50, because that's, cause that's 20, but there's still a little bit left in there. Maybe 35, 35, yeah, so you check. get like a it's cup like and a half. around 10 bucks, right? Yeah, something, I think it's a little more expensive. Yeah, you don't get, for the money, I think it's a little, but they're packaging smaller amounts, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can buy, You can get better deals if you buy more, but that's not what this is. Well, there's, yeah, what's the purpose of it, right? It's so you can try amazing coffees um, and not commit to a full bag. Because um, once you're done here. This tastes like an Ethiopian washed to me. You can go out, check out the roaster and buy a bag. Yeah. That's kind of the key. It's like, hey, I like this. Boom. Let me pick up a full bag of it. All right. So what we got? 50, you said what? 5405? 5407. Oh, sorry. Right? Is that what this is? Yeah, the little, the yeah, little I took cappuccino notes. glass. 5407. That 5407. Is... I'm going to guess a washed mm. Ethiopian. Yeah, it's good. It's got some nice sweetness. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of grape. Is that grape that you're getting in there? <sighs> yeah, when you do that, you definitely get the grape. You get grape when you do that. Yeah, it's great grape. Um, Yeah, it's got a good acidity. I don't know if I would say it's too strong of the grape, but there is definitely the fruity floral. I'm, I haven't decided yet, but it's got a little... I'm going to go with grape. It's a very caramelish color. Caramel. I'm trying to... You're welcome, Jan. 
I am trying to describe what I see as well. And it is, they're definitely a little bit lighter roast. So you can, you know, it's not, it's not like midnight in here. It's not like midnight in the mug. It is a soft, warm, brown color. And that's exactly where you want it. And it looks good. Great. All right. They also have an app that I've used previously, and I got that queued up. Mm -hmm. We'll use that to guide us through. You plug in the number, and you can kind of do your tasting notes and then compare um, what you, you know, what the community has and then also what the roaster uh, says. So you want to look at it? Yeah, I don't, I feel a lot of pressure. Like for some reason, like you know, you guys know we're not coffee bros. We're not. We're not. But I feel like I should know coffee. Well, you should. A little bit. Yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Well, the roaster for this coffee recommends the Chemex, which we didn't do, but mm-hmm. we're not far off. Mm-hmm. Coffee weight, 25 grams, 375 for water, brew temp 206, Okay. grind fairly coarse, brew time four minutes. We did most of that, only we did. Okay, so what are we saying for the color, Jake? We got half city, cinnamon, city. Oh, two. No, yeah, cinnamon. You think it's right in the I'm cinnamon? Going cinnamon. All right. Then. Aroma. Hmm, what are we getting for the aroma? I drink mine. What are you doing? What? Yeah, I drank mine all gone. How are we supposed to do the app? I didn't realize we were doing the app live and on the air. I just, I thought I was tasting. I told you what I thought. I thought it was Ethiopia. I think it's a wash. Well, let's do We're going to do the reveal though, right? Yeah. Should we do it right now or should we do it later? Well, let's do it as we go. Okay. Otherwise, I think it'll be confusing. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Um, So. Are you getting fruit or flowers? I'm getting fruit, not flowers. This is aroma though. This is a smell. Oh. So it's, they, they break it down. You don't have to go that complex. They have different levels of, I mean, you don't have to do any of it. But part of me that wants to cheat and peek. Cheat and peek? I'm going to look. Cheat and peek? No, don't look. look. Well, I don't Let's, want everybody hanging out. It's been like six minutes. Well, we and nobody knows started. what we're drinking here. Well, we're going to go. We don't have to do this for each one, but this will give them an idea oh, of well, the way what they goes. can yeah. do. Okay, okay, okay. You got what I'm saying here? Yeah. Uh, so which is cool about this app, you can select. So let's just do... You said, uh, was it like a fruity smell? Maybe a citrus? Yeah. Yeah. We'll say that. Yeah. Grapefruitish? We'll go there. That's kind Uh, of. A little more stone fruit. I was thinking stone fruit. Well, that is a stone fruit. No, grapefruit isn't a stone fruit. A peach and a pear. It's peach and a apricot or stone fruit. Grapefruit has a stone in the middle. No. Grapefruit has little seeds like. um, It's not a stone fruit. It's a citrus. Um. Well, that is in the citrus category. Oh, well, that makes sense because it's a citrus. You can do dadacious. Oh, what's a dadacious? That's got peach, apricot. Let's do that Cherry, one. grape, that's, plum. Yeah, yeah. That's the one I want. That's, that's what you want. I want. Okay. I want dadacious. Now we're on the right side of now the wheel. I want dadacious. Yeah, no grapefruit. No, grape. not Though grape. I think grapefruit isn't far off either. Uh, what about, do you get any stone fruit? Do you feel like it's a little bit like our king cup? A oh, little bit our um, old king cup? Are you getting a little more apricot yeah, peach little in there? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so then you can also, it's got this cool little wheel um, on the app there that you can kind of slide and pick your intensity. Aftertaste, I, higher up the better, lower down towards the center, I'm not, not getting as good. A, it's a very smooth daily drinker. You're not? I'm not getting a lot of intensity from it. It's not slapping me So the me aftertaste the is maybe just a little past middle? Yeah. I think it's right in the fair to middle end. Complexity. High, low? Lower. You don't lower think it's very complex? No, I don't think there's a lot of complexity there. Mm. All right. Well, we'll go we'll about middle on that. Yeah. Uh, bitterness. I don't think it's very bitter no, at all. No, no, no bitter. So, whoop, 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 excuse me. It's like excuse we're having trouble we with the app that Sweetness. is causing. Well, it's my left, my left thumb. Oh. Uh, sweetness. Yeah. I think it's, well, it's great. I, I'm getting good sweetness from yeah, it. Yeah, so we'll go a little higher on the sweetness. Go a little higher on the sweetness right. from it. Next, that. you can rate acidity. It's, they have like this little scale where you can rate intensity mm-hmm. um, on what? The y axis, up yeah. and down, right? Yeah, and then and the x axis, the bottom, is yeah, the left quality right. of okay. that. So the acidity is not horribly intense. I would say six, seven. Yeah, but it's, but it's, it's very good, good quality. It's a solid So let's acidity. go yeah. eight, seven and yeah, eight. Let's do that. Body, same thing. What yeah. do you think for the weight? Very heavy, not too heavy. Oh, no, kind of a medium body. I'd say a middleweight or a welterweight. So either, maybe around either, maybe six, yeah. one yeah. past half? I think it kind of weighing in at 170. I think it's like the George St. Pierre category there. Okay. Quality of GSP. that. An eight? Good quality? Yeah, solid quality. Like a GSP mm-hmm. fighter. Flavor. Here we go. 
Um, spoiler flavor. This is where we can dive into the actual taste. Yeah. So definitely you're thinking dedacious uh, grape. I thought grape I and I thought uh, maybe like a peach. Uh, you can choose peach. Yeah. You just click them on the wheel here and that's you can cool. pick. Yeah, that's and you hit cool. the center, you can shoot back out. Or you could do dried fruit, you know, blackberry, no, blackcurrant, no, no, date. No. Do citrus, orange, no, grapefruit, I'm lemon. I'm not getting a bunch of citrus. Um, and then they also have the berry category. Yeah, I'm not getting berries. Not so much. Yeah. We can go back out. But I'm get, ready to move on to the next coffee. You just want to do that? Yeah. No flowers, no herbs, yeah, no, no spices, flowers, no, no nuts, herbs, no spices. No dessert, no barbecue. No, nuts, no barbecue. All right. Defects. Defects. Nah. Anything really. in the bad bean or bad flavor? Bad flavors, it could be green, grassy, moldy, I'm hairspray, earth, there. soil, mushroom, I'm barnyard. Not any hairspray or barnyard. Um, bad beans would actually be more about kind of the look, like Quakers, elephant ears, um, burning, uneven roast, I the appearance of the beans. I didn't look at it. They looked fine. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I don't think I've ever marked anything on that one. I highly doubt Angel's Cup would allow them. Oh, look at all these. Let's send all these Quakers out. Yeah. <laughs> all these, these are, elephant ears. <laughs> these are nasty. Let's sling them. Uh, but you never know. Okay. Enjoyment. Little coffee pot. High, low. We have superb. Wow. Very good. Nice. Okay. Mediocre. Terrible. Tolerable. Tolerable. I'm going to go very good. I'm going to go very good. All right. We'll lock it in. Not delicious. Not uh, superb. Very good. Very good. That's where I'm going to put it. Okay. Uh, Any final notes? You could key that in, which we're not going to do. Complete tasting. All right. All right. So here's coffee notes. Enjoyment. It is land and water coffee, an Ethiopian Yirgacheff conga washed. Mm. So we were right on that one. Uh, flavors, peach, lemon, and frosted flakes. No great. So you wanted some citrus there. You were correct. Um, but yeah, I don't, I wasn't getting any frosted flakes. I think grape would be better than frosted flakes, but you know, land and that's what land and water say. A flavorful washed Ethiopia, which should be fairly easy for those of you with more experience to recognize. Peach and lemon up front. Towards the back half, we're getting some sweetness and tea that oddly enough reminds us of frosted flakes. This coffee develops nicely as it cools, so give it a chance to impress you. Yeah. I agree with the first part. Eh, the second part, you lost me. A little bit. You lost me at frosted flakes. <laughs> so You lost me. Sorry. Well, I think the sweetness... I almost can see that. Like in the aftertaste of the milk you get. I'm moving on to 5406. Real quick, last point yeah. with the app. It has the Roastmaster notes. Um, they rated it a 9 out of 10. Um, the coffee grade was 89.5 out of 100. They say great representation of a washed Yurgachev, sweet, floral, moderate brightness. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. And then also in the app, you can see a there's... A moderate brightness. I like that. There's quite a few of the community. Yeah. And you can compare your results... Um, side by side to what the roaster said um, versus, see, we said cinnamon, roaster said city. We said aroma grape, he said jasmine, lavender, or they, milk, chocolate, vanilla. You could see, um, you know, just the comparison of the side by side. So it's kind of a neat app. I really enjoyed it. It really helped me learn um, more about coffee and the flavors and the aromas. Yeah, I'm totally bombing it here. I'm totally failing. Um, Are you? Yeah. Well, I knew Ethiopia. I got that part right. I think that's pretty good. That's it's that's hard. A, it is hard. So All right, let's get to fifty four oh six. That was a conga. Which one's that? The mug mug. Okay, that's the one I think that had a weird smell. Yeah, kind of an earthy. Yeah, it's definitely more earthy. Hmm. It's pretty good, though. But what is that? Wow. What are you getting? I'm getting a higher acidity. I'm, a higher, I'm getting a higher level of acidity than the last one. This was 5406. 5406. My initial reaction was this is a Kenyan, but I think I, I, I think I could be off. Maybe a Rwandan. Remember we had that Rwandan that was very from mustache. That is kind of similar, but this is more earthy, kind of more, I, I don't want to say mushroom, but I'm feeling like it's like mushroom is the right, right one there. Yeah, this one's unique. I, I don't think it's, I, I think it's an African. I think it's an African. If not, then maybe like a, um, it completely throws off with, with a, um, um, an Indonesian or something. Nah, but, could be, could be, could be. 
Yeah, this one's different. The um, the roaster recommends the Kalita Wave, 24 grams, 360. Oh, the Wave, they want a flat bottom. They want to get a little more body out of it Barely for coarse. Had ah. a brew time of 310. So I went with the simple one. So the simple review is, okay, what's your enjoyment? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, I think it's good. I think this actually would fare well with cream. Yeah. I think it would do well. The aftertaste, it's lingering a little bit, and I'm not enjoying it a lot. I'm not enjoying the aftertaste. Much. It's a unique aftertaste. Yeah. Woodsy, earthy, mushroomy. Yeah, I mean, the classic for that would be a Sumatran. You know, that's kind of what you think of. So we'll say nice. Middle of the pot. It's nice. Um, then you can all, that's it. That's for the quick review. Just say, do you like it? Do you not? Complete you tasting. Like it, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right. You ready? So, yep. Go for it. Brazil land and water coffee. A Brazil not natty. Like that. This is a naturally processed wow. Brazil Cerrado Minero Mirante. Red Catuai. Yeah. Chocolate, peanut, and almond. A I was, rare find that perfectly straddles the space between light and medium roast and a truly natural processed Brazil. We get chocolate, peanut, and almond, which tastes like a cross between trail mix and donuts. Nice sweetness, body on the heavy end of the spectrum, and subtle florals that remind us of baby powder. Yeah. Wait, I, what? Yeah. Baby powder. See, I was looking for uh, the nuttiness to say Brazil. And quick note, most of the coffees that come out of Brazil are, are, wa are natural. But it's not yeah. the natties you think of when you think of Ethiopian. Yeah, it's a different it, it's, natty. The process was developed there by and large because of the lack of water, access to water to wash. But I am surprised. Yeah. You know what, though? It does taste similar to, remember the, the one that we did this last Bruin review? It was the um, Tim Wendell bow. Remember from Colombia, the Colombia Icatura? It had a a little more... I don't know. It was a unique flavor. It's kind of that red currant and flowers. Mm -hmm. So this one totally got me. Uh, I got got, but I didn't. I'm. I did not get chocolate peanut or almond from it. You know the trail all. mix. My last sip. Maybe the I, trail mix. I, I picked up baby what they powder? were saying. Baby yeah, powder and flowers. I don't think I'd ever flowers. say flowers. I live right now in a world of uh, baby powder, baby care and products, that's not and, it. and that's not something it's not that it. sounds appealing to me. That's when not I think it. Of my so daily yeah, cup. I was. I I'm gonna stick by I, if. I'm going to stick with mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yeah. It was interesting, though. And I think Brazil, I will say, for us, is one yeah. coffee I haven't personally roasted it's true. any of. True. Any. We haven't drank a whole lot of Brazil, which is interesting because Brazil is the chief yeah. producer. exporter. Mm -hmm. producer. So we've probably drank a lot of Brazils, but mostly probably in blends and little yeah. char pieces of charcoal from you know Starbucks exactly. and whatnot. In fact, we're like, right now, I want to wash it out of my mouth. I haven't given it a fair chance. Um Right, because I know we've had some great coffee from uh, Peixoto, which is sourced Brazil, many from true. not only their that's own true. farm in Brazil, but farm. but others. Yeah, yeah. I gotta tell you, I did not like that coffee. Yeah, not the more, my favorite. The more it lingers, the less I like it. Okay, moving on to uh, 50, it's kind of like you, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Moving on to fifty four. The more he hangs out, all right. The more he hangs out, the less we appreciate that's, him. Uh, that's the, now in the white mug. Fifty four oh five is now in this in the little cat mug, the little cappuccino, little little mini mug here. All right, here yeah. we go. But I would be curious because he recommended Kalita for the Brazil. Maybe that you know might have got a little more in way of. See, no, my confidence is totally shaken. I have no idea what I'm drinking now. No idea what I'm drinking. I would say an African. Yeah, it's a Kenyan. But I just got killed. I just got killed on the Brazil. <laughs> the Brazil. You think it's a Kenyan? I think it's a Kenyan. That's I'm, I'm going to tell you you're wrong, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Well, you weren't supposed to look yet. I, I had, looked. I you were so sip. confident. I wanted to smash wanted to, it. I, I wanted so. to smash your confidence. Uh, I know. That wasn't my final verdict, though. But now I know it's not it, so I'm, I'm ruined. No, I was pretty confident. It's not a Kenyan. It's not a Kenyan. It's got to be a neighbor. It's 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 in Africa. Yeah, it's an African. We were right on that. We were right. this this Brazil can't let it shake our confidence here. Can't let it shake our confidence. <laughs> what number? Got to own this? it. Fifty four oh five. This is fifty four oh five. Excuse me, app. Thank you. Fifty four oh five. Keying it up. It's also a nice community. Um, 
for Angels Cup, there's a Facebook group where you can, they put it out there and you can discuss with other people and interact and, you know, talk all things coffee. So um, for this one, they recommend the V60. So okay, did the V house slash V60. Yep. Coffee weight, 22 grams. Water weight, 240. Ooh, that's strong. That we didn't is, do that. No. We, we went lighter than that. Grind fine. Brew time, 330. Well, we, we, we did... 20 to 300 in a brew time of three minutes. All right. So on this one, aftertaste, good, bad, no? Whatever no means? Yeah. Kind of lingering. <laughs> lingering on the palate, I would say maybe a little more stone fruit. I don't yeah, know if it I was think peach. It's a good aftertaste. You know, maybe a 7 8. Yeah. Complexity. It's a little more uh, than the other ones. Yeah. I think so. I think a higher level of complexity here because you really, when you get the beginning from like the tongue back, across from the from the tip of the tongue to the top of the tip palate of the top back of the palate you're getting different flavors from the tip of the tongue to the top back of the palate yes okay from the tip of the tongue to the top back Got of it. the palate what about body there's a good, good good amount of body i'm gonna say this is a nice body right here and the, mm. the color is a little darker as well i would say up from the cinnamon yeah up 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 one from cinnamon to city or whatever it was yeah bitterness a little any darker. bitterness nah, not uh, any. very low in the bitter sweetness how sweet is it? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think it's overly sweet in no. my book, but it's... I think it's a little less than the Ethiopian. Mm-hmm. So we'll go less there. Less sweet. Uh, aroma and like flavor. A cranberry? So. You getting any cranberry in you there? You getting cran? Well, like, a, like a vine fruit of some sort? Not grape. Not as sweet as a grape, but something else. Like some of those little berries that your mom tells you not to eat, so you pick them and you throw them at your, your brothers? I think I can go with you there. Like, or there's a crab apple tree. Crab apple type. You ever of had that where yeah. it's kind of a little tart? Yeah, a little tartar apples. But Not a big, sweetness. sweet, juicy yeah, apple, but, but kind of a tartar apple. But I can go with you it on didn't that. bring the tartness with it. It just kind of brought the flavor. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it reminds me of that, but it's not like yeah. sour. Right. It's not tart. Right, 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 right. But it's in that family. Right. It's headed that direction. Right. It's got the RV loaded and it's yes. rolling down the road yes. towards but just, Tart City. But it doesn't have the trailer. Yeah. It doesn't have the trailer on well, the back. It doesn't back have enough with, gas to get there. Yeah. It doesn't have the trailer with the bicycles. It's ambitious, but it ain't going to make it. But it's not going to make it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, so we'll just throw that in there. But it has Enjoyment. more acidity. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot, but not as much as the Ethiopia. So we have we did what for the Ethiopian? Very good or delicious? We did very good. Mm -hmm. So this would be a nice? Nice. Yeah, it was nice. nice. It was nice. It was a nice cut. Complete tasting. It was nice. All right. What we got? It's a Congo from Little Amps Coffee. And... Hey. Ruibos, kiwi, and mango. What did I say at the beginning of the show? I don't know what Ruibos is. You said Congo. You said it's Congo at the beginning of the show. Yeah. You were just a little bit off. You did a good job. I think I said almost all the origins. Congo, so. <laughs> kivu, sopasti, sopakti. It didn't hit us at first, but after reading the roaster's tasting notes, we couldn't shake the idea of Ruibos. Ruibos. And African herbal tea. Very distinct and interesting. We're also getting kiwi, mango, and pipe tobacco. Sweet and balanced with a somewhat fleeting aftertaste. Also look for lime, basil, and a nectarine. And the nectar. Yeah. Not I don't bad. know about that. Not bad. I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. All right, I'm going to brew the last one here. Oh, yeah. Get that going. Um, on the app, uh, Roastmaster Peter uh, notes just about this. This uh, S-O-P-A-C-D-I, says what it is, was found in 2002 by the farmer Jacum Mungana, who roasted, sorry, restored, he roasted a washing station in the area and started to <laughs> service growers in Highlands by processing their coffee and giving them market access. What what you need, Jake? What's wrong? No, he roasted the, well, no, I said it restored wrong. restored. I said the washing roasted station. and I said restored, but then I inserted roasted again because it sounded funny. Roasted the washing station. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Perfect. I mean, they roast people, right? Yeah. You like show up and you get made fun of. Ha ha. Exactly. It's a roast. I went with it because that's what it would have been yeah. had I not corrected yeah. it. Yeah, good, good job. Yeah. Good job. Right? That's what we're here for. If not information, at least maybe entertainment. I don't know. Located to the north of Lake Kivu, Sopasadii is compromised of over 4,600 small... Compromised or comprised? Did I say compromised? You sure did. Yeah. Which is cool. Let's just roll with it. It's kind of like Mad Gab. I need an adjective, a verb, and two nouns. And then we just plug them in. Uh, 5,600 small-scale farmers growing Bourbon varieties from 40, 1460 to 2,000 meters above sea level. The organization is currently 
comprised of about 20% women and 80% men, and was the first in the country to receive fair trade certifications. The coffee also carries an organic certification. If you're into that sort of thing, I appreciate that. When you enjoy your sopaka dai, look for the toffee sweetness, grapefruit acidity, and pleasing finish that reminds us of the fruity ruibos tea. Ruibos tea. All right. How's that water coming? I, I, I don't know what ruibos tea is, so it's hard for me to try and, you know, say whether it would be good or not, or whether it matches or not. Um... Uh, thinking about this now, Jake, we should have reset the cameras, but oh well, we'll get most of your brew. Want me to stop it? Pause it right now? No, there's no stopping. You're good. I think we'll we'll have enough time on the uh, DSLR restrictions, um, thanks to tax laws. Anyway, so this Angel's Cup, though, is uh, very fun. I think it's cool. If you haven't tried it, um, if you want to expand your palate, you want to try more coffees, and you don't want to commit to full bags. You want to find out about more varieties, brewers, brewers, roasters, or, or brewers, recommended brew methods. Um, it's definitely worth checking out. Now, they have different offerings. You can get more. You can get the black box, which comes with, uh, I want to say, like 60 or 80 grams per sample. So you can brew a little bit more. And then they also have, like, the uh, the roasters champion pack and the all-stars they got a few different things going on that maybe they've mixed up over the years where you can get, um, you know, full bags of, of the, the award-winning coffees, the high-prized uh, coffees, um, and enjoy them. So, yeah, you're going to – you signed up for the subscription, right? Is that what you did? Yeah, yeah. How often? Once a month. Once a month. I figured that we'll have other coffees to brew and review during that time, so just decided to go with – you mean like, like some nice, uh, some Blue Mountain, maybe? Something yeah, like a little that Jamaica nice. Blue Mountain, a little um, Hawaii Kona. Yeah, I got some things planned for you. Hmm. He's going top dollar. Top dollar. It's kind of like classic top dollar, like iconic, right? They've made names for themselves. What are you doing, Jake? I am making a mess of everything. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm spinning. I'm you, spinning. The, are you spinning? I'm spinning. Or are you sitting and shuffling? I'm sitting and spinning, and it's not working out well at all. <laughs> He's attempting the Rayo's spin with the V6. From a seated for position. For the final drawdown. From the seated position. From the seated position. I think everything should be done from the seated. If you can do it from the seated, then but you're a master. That. Look at that. Look at that flat bed, wet sand. <laughs> he just <laughs> he said his little schnozzle right over the top. <laughs> <in there>. We're <laughs> analyzing this coffee. <laughs> you know, there's etiquette. Oh, if you I need go... a picture of that. Can you do that again? <laughs> Can we do that just just for the uh, Insta real quick? Can when you, you please... go to your friend's house and he's brewing up the V60, just get in there. That's good stuff. Oh. That is good stuff right there. I got my nose on the filter a little oh, bit. Oh man. Can you can you doctor that one up and post it on Instagram for <laughs> yes. the people? Can you do that? I'll make it look sweet. Okay, make that one look sweet because the people need that. Yeah. All right. Send it to me. Put it air airdrop it. I'm what gonna airdrop it to Orange Cactus Coffee right now. Sweet for the people. For my people. Of course. Of course. For the people. Yeah. And, right. and Mikey, of course, he knows what he's doing with the pictures and stuff. Me, I just, I just wing it, and sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. Surprisingly enough, but I remember the very first time that you brought this um, Angel's Cup to me yeah. or let me try it. That was over two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, um, at the bank, I think was the first time he, Mikey, brought his little kid. He brought his water. He brought everything to a um, training session that we had, and for our lunch break. He was yeah, we like, shot a video that we never put out there. Did we shoot a video that I day? We shot an iPhone video. Yeah. We should pull it out. Throwback. Throwback. Throwback, out Thursday. throwback Thursday. That's today. Throw, throw, That's today. Throwback Today's Throwback Thursday. Thursday. Tuesday. Yeah. Throwback Thursday, but this is actually going to come out on a Friday. So there's that. Well, no, it doesn't. We could, I could publish it. Yeah. Yeah. Freestyle Friday. Freestyle. Anyhow, it Forget is very cool. It is very cool. You don't have to feel like a complete nincompoop, complete <laughs> nincompoop like myself when you mess up on the origin, uh, but it uh, it is going to help you, you know. Be oh, able I don't to be better. I don't know. There's ex- be hey, they have competitions, right? Yeah. Um, where people try to identify the origin through mm-hmm. people sniffing and slurping, yeah. and they 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 don't even get it right. Yeah, 
Some do. Some are really good. Yeah. But others, no. All right. So what do we got? What number is this one? This is 5404, the last one. Did 5407, 5406, 5405, and 5404. Yeah. Now, Thanks for going in harder. order. You know what I mean? So we, from, I'm going to let mine cool a little bit, but you really do get a flavor journey for each coffee if you let it cool or if you try it while it's hot and then let it cool. What? Oh, Five, I forgot four, the zero? number. Oh. Yeah. 54. <laughs> <laughs> 5404. All right. We'll do the beginner tasting. Quick is too quick. It's just, do you like it? Do you not? Beginner tasting has a few steps, you know, the aroma, the flavor, and then there's the advanced, which is everything. Okay, so for this uh, coffee, the roaster recommends the V60 again, 22 grams, 340 grams. Okay, a little off there. 205 for brew temp, grind, medium yep. fine, brew yep. time, 330. Okay, we were a little under that, but we're good to go. What do you got on color here, Jake? Uh, this city, a city or full city, yeah. yeah. Let's go in the city. Yeah. Taste. You already drinking it? Yeah, a little bit. It's, you it's still hot. Me? I think this is the Kenyan. I think this is the Kenyan. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I it's don't know. Good. I it's think it's good. African, but you don't think it's now Kenyan? I'm now I'm not as confident. Yeah, because I'm not going to blurt it out because you're going to say you. final answer. That Congo got you. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not going to make you do your final answer. This but, is very good, though. But the way you dropped or the way you fumbled the Congo was like you came hard. So you had to get smacked. <laughs> this is a Kenyan. Well, I, I mostly did it because you're like, oh, this isn't a Kenyan. And I was like, no, this is a Kenyan. And then you called it. Yeah. And it wasn't a Kenyan. Yeah. yeah. It was a Congo, which yeah. I said one of them was Congo from the beginning. You did. So I was, yeah. I was like. But in the moment, you needed a, you needed a slice of, of humble pie to go with. Right. 30% of the time. You needed a slice of humble pie to go with your coffee is what you needed. Yeah, speaking of pie, I could go for a nice. I know. That'd be that'd good be right good. now. <laughs> I think maybe we should start doing that, like brew, review, and eat a bunch of cake. Uh, donuts? Donuts and pie. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I think you're this right. This one is a little darker, though. It is looking... Like, I think this is the darkest of all three coffees. You might be right, actually, because it does. And it also, on the palate, it has a um, little more in the back, a little more body. Yeah. Yeah. I would up it one from the city. I would go full on it. I would go full. I'd go City Plus, which city they don't plus. have. So, which is interesting because they have Full City Plus and Full City. But you want that between right city in and between full city. city and Full City. Okay. Let's put Full City, but we know that it's City Plus. We know. And you know. And you know. Y'all know. Why is that? Because when you look at it, you just see. That caramel brown, a little ring around the outside of it as it's sitting in there. You can't see to the bottom. You know what I mean? You, it is, it's dark. It's dark, it's dark. in there. It's dark. It's like a cave. Aftertaste. Good? Bad? Well, I've only had one sip. Mm, I think it's really good. Actually, this might be my favorite. Yeah. I'm going to go high on it. I don't care what you say. Complexity. Yeah, that is good. It is got a good complexity. Yeah. There's a little, it's an up and down. It's, it's also like a wave. Good it's like body. a wave. It's like, it's like, like a, a wave. flavor wave. Yeah, Flavor it's wave? like it comes in and it goes oh, up. and it curves. And then it comes back down. And then it locks you in in a little roll. I haven't been locked in the roll yet, but it, it does go up and then back down. Mm. So there is a little bit of a flavor curve going on there. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting any bitterness. No. Not, not much acidity either. It's really just a bunch yeah. of sweetness. It's pretty much awesome. Pretty much This good. is a really, really good cup. Are we sure? Could this be in the Ethiopian side of the... Uh I think Kenya is just south of Ethiopia. That's what I mean. It? Yeah. The Ethiopian side of the country. They're dramatically different, though. It's amazing. I mean, at least the ones we've experienced. Not all of them. But it's really good. I'm enjoying this. Aroma and flavor. They put them together. So let's keep them together. Flavor. What are we getting? We're getting some fruit? I'm feeling like I'm coffeeed out. I can't taste anything except it's good. Uh, insert, insert, more? insert more uh, more? what's his quote? Was it, um, James seven? Yeah. yeah. After the second or third espresso, I'm pretty much ruined. For pretty the day. much ruined. Yeah. Pretty much ruined for the day over here. A little too much. Uh, a little too much coffee. It's like, what do you taste anymore? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Was this 54 or six? 54 or five? Four, five, five, six, seven. seven? seven? You would have no, you have a question? No. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> you? Me? No. Corky yeah, Romano. <laughs> I'll put that clip in there if I can find it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You? You're good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wasn't that a movie? Is yeah. that a movie or a TV show? Yeah, that's no, yeah. it's a movie. He accidentally give you context. If yeah. you haven't seen it, yeah, uh, obscure he's, movie quotes again. Yeah. At you. He's trying to. Uh, he accidentally gets into a bag of cocaine. 
And um, he really wasn't trying well, he's to. He's a police officer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and some evidence burst open on it, him. Pretty much, yeah. I think that's what I remember. So then he gets covered in cocaine. <laughs> but he was doing the officer at the school. <laughs> yes, with the kids, the yeah. elementary school. Yeah, it was his turn to go and do a presentation Give for a the... speech about what he does. Yeah, for <laughs> the kids. And he is blazing. <laughs> he is out. absolutely <laughs> blazing. Uh, it's a funny scene. It's a funny scene. Uh, needless to say, he thinks... He thinks people are throwing questions at him left and right, and uh, pretty much the room is uh, speechless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was funny. It is funny. It was he funny. Does What's when that actor's fun- name? Do you remember? I don't know. No, name. I don't know. But when Mike first hired me, that was like the thing that he wanted to show me. He's like, oh, you were a cop? Oh, here, let me show you this. Have you ever accidentally got have into a bag ever, of cocaine? <laughs> have you ever accidentally got into a bag of cocaine? Let me show you this guy. He did. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just thought it's a funny scene. The, the movie's so-so, but that scene is yeah. good stuff. I feel like I got a little bit of a contact high <laughs> when I was packaging a bunch of marijuana evidence. It was, I mean, like, it was yeah. a ton of it. It's like in a room and I was full like, of oh, it. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, a I little floated. bit dizzy. I was floating out of there. You guys getting hungry? Time's at lunch. Um, I don't know. I think it's a sweet. It's not heavily... F- Fruit, but there is a fruity property. The sweetness is in the fruity side, like a, a yeah. deep fruit. Yeah, like a deep fruit with a little bit of floral like, aftertaste. Yeah. Like a flower aftertaste. Fruit and flowers. But right up front, it's it's a fruity sweetness. But you also got the uh, desserts, the maple syrup, the brown sugar, caramel, honey, anything in that? I don't know. It's a good question. I can see a little bit of honey, maybe, for the sweetness. You know, because honey's got that unique sweetness on the palate. Almost where it's, like, on the sides and the back. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. All right. Enjoyment. This should, one, I say, should I say grape again? Maybe, say, that, wow. maybe I could be right this time. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, this is the best one so far. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little grape. Not heavily. All yeah. right. Let's see what we got. This is a wow. Complete tasting. Peru. You have no idea what you're talking about. You are a total bomb. What did I say? I thought, well, I didn't, I wasn't it's sure. Just Peru. We thought Kenyan, maybe. Yeah, we thought it was in Africa, but it's in South America. Ooh, see, this, this is, is a it. Peruvian. This is yeah. the whole point of it. Mind San is blown. Ignacio Cristian Lavan Santos. But they say tobacco, oak, rum, and florals. Yeah, wait. Stop right there for one second. Here's what the roaster put on the app. Yeah. I, I, I should probably say what they didn't put. Caramel, yeah. honey, milk, chocolate, orange zest, fig, dark chocolate, caramel, caramel twice. Panela, dark chocolate. Oh, okay, so it's listening to it. Milk, chocolate, honey, orange juice, fig, plum, <laughs> cascade, hops, and honeysuckle. <laughs> so we got honey. So we nailed it. <laughs> An interesting and distinct flavor profile starts off with a sweet cigarette tobacco, followed by a mix of wood, rum, and some delicate florals. Slightly nutty, too. Definitely a light roast, and it has some pop, but not fruit forward. Uh, Katura yeah. and Geisha. I like that. Oh, I'm not getting any of this. I'm not getting any tobacco. I'm not getting any cigarette tobacco. I'm tobacco. certainly not getting a mix of wood rum, wood and rum. I am getting some delicate flowers. But yeah. It's a slightly nutty too. I'm not getting a bunch of nuttiness. And it says definitely a light roast. This is the darkest one that was in here and has some pop, but not fruit forward. I disagree with that. Who's I, the roaster? Have you been saying who the roaster was? Uh, I thought I did. Little Amps Coffee. I don't recall you this saying that. This one was Little Amps. The first two were Land and Water Coffee, and the second two were Little Amps Coffee. I'll put. I'll find them and put links in the show okay. notes. So Land and Water Coffee and Little Amps. Little Amps. Roaster. Yeah, Peter. Because the Roastmaster on the app is actually the roaster, which is cool. Oh, that's It's like cool. actually Peter Leonard. Yeah. Not Leonard. I don't know, maybe. Leonard? Leon, Leonard. Right. Leonard. Leonard, not Leonard. It's a Leonard. last name, though. It's, it's not a Leonard. first name. It's a first yeah. name. Yeah, but Leonard is still a last name. So is uh, Leo Onard. Leo Onard. Le- <laughs> <laughs> Leo uh, Nahard. Well, Peter Leo, as yeah. I like to call him. Or Pete Lee, whatever. This is, uh, his notes here, though, are interesting. It's been a minute since we've had coffee from Peru on offer, and we think this... Blend of Ketura and Geisha varieties produced by Christian Levan is the perfect coffee to break our Peruvian drought. Love it. I think it's a great coffee. It is a great coffee. But yeah, but I'm getting fruit, not tobacco, and it's a little darker. It's not a it's not a super light roast. 
Yeah. So he says in here, when we drink this fully washed coffee, we get a pleasing balance of sweet and bitter that reminds us of chocolatey hops with a complex citric acid. I, I see a little bit of hops in there. Cafe Imports Cafe Imports did the work of getting us this coffee, and we think you're really going to like it. I would agree with that. Maybe chocolate hops is not a bad I don't think describe I've, it. I think it's very good. I don't think I've ever had a Peru. I can't recall... A Peruvian? Yeah. I mean, never had a Peruvian geisha, that's for sure. Yeah. It's a mix. So that's pretty good. But some That's good. That's real good. That's good. Yeah, this is excellent coffee. Are we done? I'm wearing yeah, it for that's next. That's good. You know, the uh, yeah. looking at the community notes, it's not equally loved by all. Five and sevens. I would put it up probably at the eight. Yeah. Uh, this one's a nine. Oh, that was ours, I think. <laughs> oh, my. Well, I didn't sign in. I, I'm just winging it here. <laughs> this person got exactly what we got. <laughs> oh, oh, that was uh, <laughs> Oh, they loved it. Oh. But what's also cool, like on the little um, flavor wheel where they have aftertaste, complexity, body, bitterness, and sweetness, you can yeah. see how you uh, rated compared to the Roastmaster. And we or, were close. We were close to the, or the community. We were, we were close on the Roastmaster. Look at that. Community. And very put close. It, yeah, yeah, almost identical except for bitterness. Yeah, they thought it was a little more bitter than we Maybe did. it's your brewing, bro. Ooh, you mean my brewing is good or my brewing is bad? See, we rated it in 85. Community says 81.9, mm. which is cool. Roastmaster says 93. Come on now. It's mm. a little much. Mm. But you know when you, if well, there's you, factors you have to. Yeah, if you if you ain't filling your own stuff, you wouldn't be selling it, right? Well, and then I'm sure maybe super fresh, right off roast, a couple yeah. days in at yeah, the cafe, everything's dialed. It's true. Well, this isn't dialed in. It's our first time. That's the one thing about. Um, the angels, is there a dog that just ran in? Is that what happened? No, I was just. Oh, you just kicked the table. I, no, there's coffee down here. <clears throat> there's more coffee. You want more coffee? Yeah, we need more coffee. No. More coffee? Oh, never mind. No. No, I don't want that coffee. We got 24 ounces down there. What was I so the problem with oh, the Angel's no. Cup is if you take it and you do a 20-gram brew and you mess it up, you ain't getting that again. Yeah. You ain't getting I remember 20 that. again. Sometimes I split them and did smaller cups because I wanted to have two opportunities. I think that's, yeah, that's what you got to, that's, that, that would be a good way to do it. After a while, though, I found myself just each morning, maybe I'd have two a day. So two days. Yeah, so it's like, I think you get 35 grams. You get 20 plus maybe 15. Like 35 grams of coffee. So you could split that up. But, you know, you don't have a long time to dial it in. Which I guess is, is good if the coffee's not good. Yeah, so you got the cupping fight. Four smaller samples for nine ninety nine. Yeah. Let's learn more. Oh, and it's... Uh, 32 gram samples. Oh, 32. Okay, yep. not 35. 32. Coffee cup. You can make two eight ounce cups. That's kind of how they designed it. Yeah, so six, a little bit smaller well, cups. Well, if you do the 16 to 300, that's kind of the um, standard, right? That's what the SCA recommends, isn't mm. it? Is it? I don't remember. Maybe. Then you could up it to the black box, which is four um, larger samples. Does it say here? Four coffees. Here we go. 78 grams of each. Mm. 11 okay. ounces total in a box. So just shy of like a full 12 ounce Yeah, for 20 bucks. That's not bad. Maybe we should do that. Um, and then you have the all-stars, like I was saying. That's 20 bucks. That's one bag. But that is like the top-notch one crowdsourced coffee, 12 ounce bag, makes 192 ounces of coffee. Yeah. Give or take. Okay. So that's what they got going. Cool. Well, it was good. It was fun. We're, we're going to do this again. We're okay. going to do this again. Let us know how you like it. Yeah. If you've tried it, um, or if you haven't, you should. Ten bucks. Right? Yeah. Till next time. I'm out of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Thank you so much for joining us for Brew and Review 15. As always, you can find the show notes at orangecactuscoffee.com forward slash review 15. Again, that's orangecactuscoffee.com forward slash review 15. Thank you, and we'll catch you next time.